Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at uh, Anterj OS or Anterjas. I really don't know how to pronounce this, so uh, bear with me. Um, this is a uh, rolling release arch based distro. Um, the latest snapshot of this was just released yesterday, so uh, we're going to take a look at it. And as I said, it's based on Arch, but it comes with a very simple graphical installer and uh, offers you like a right out of the box uh, desktop environment experience without a lot of configuration or clicking around or editing config files. So we're going to choose the graphical installer for now. In language English, that's okay. All the requirements are okay. 4 gigabyte hard drive space, plugged into a power source, connected to the internet, okay. Just choose the United Kingdom for now. Uh, Berlin time zone, that's okay. German keyboard layout, okay. Now, here comes the point where you can select what type of system you want. So it's all based on Arch, but um, they offer different um, desktop flavors. The first option, is a minimal base install which will just give you a command line system. The second option is Cinnamon Desktop Environment, which uh, is, was made famous by Linux Mint. Third option is a GNOME, a GNOME 3 environment. Then we have KDE, a Mate environment. We have an option for Open Box, which is probably the most minimalistic of all these, and a option for the XFCE desktop environment. So for this demonstration, I will be choosing GNOME, but of course you can choose whatever you like. Click next. Now, here's one more step where we can uh, kind of customize our install. The first point here is uh, if we want to enable Arch user repository support. <clears throat> and what this is, is um, it allows you to add third party repositories. So if you're ever missing a package, from the official repositories, there's a good chance that someone has a custom repository where you can get this package from. So, very neat feature, I highly recommend you turn it on. Um, Bluetooth support, uh, nothing I need, so I'll leave that away. Extra fonts if you want, uh, leave that away for now too. GNOME Extras is uh, stuff like a larger GNOME application, for example, Jim. Um, nothing I need, so I'm gonna leave it off for now. So we'll just get a minimal GNOME install. Then there's an option to install LibreOffice. So if you want a full-blown Office suite, click that on. And the printing support, nothing I need, so I'll turn it off. Then there's an option for proprietary software, such as the Flash plugin, um, different audio and video codecs, and uh, the Java runtime environment. So I want Flash, so I'm gonna turn this on. And last but not least, there's a firewall option which will allow you to control your outgoing and incoming uh, traffic on your machine. So I'm gonna leave that on, click next. And it's gonna give us a quick warning here what the firewall rules will be. Um, that's okay, click close. Then there's a quick disclaimer that the Arch user repositories are not maintained by the main developer team but by individuals, that's okay, just click close. And we're gonna install uh, erase disk, okay, use LVM, um, and we're good to go. Now just choose the hard drive where we're gonna install this, that's okay, click next. Just confirm your choices, everything on the hard drive of course will be deleted, so make sure you have backups if you need anything, click yes. And then right here you can just uh, set up your username, your password, that's okay. And now basically the setup is going to install everything that's needed, download all the packages, and uh, we're going to be in the GNOME desktop right away. Okay guys, so uh, here we are with GNOME 3 installed. Um, install process didn't take long, just maybe about 20 minutes or so. And um, let's just uh, check out some of the versions that come with this release. Uh, since this is a rolling release, everything should be uh, pretty much up to date. And uh, yes, this is the latest version <coughs> of the Linux kernel at the time of this video. And GNOME is also 
yeah, up to date version 3.12, also the latest version uh, at the time of this video recording. So this is pretty much a GNOME 3 stock environment. Um, the developers didn't change anything or well, just slight changes. Uh, we have a slightly different background wallpaper and as you can see here, the uh, icons have been changed to the new mix theme, which personally I quite enjoy. I think they look better than the uh, GNOME default icons. But um, other than that, pretty much uh, standard stuff right here. Now, of course, this is just one of many desktop choices that you have. As I showed you in the installer, you can also select KDE or OpenBox or XFCE. And um, it's pretty much a GNOME 3 stock environment, so I won't be showing you too much of this. Um, just let me say I didn't have any problems except for one thing. Uh, I did select the Flash Player to be installed with this thing uh, during the install process, and it was installed. However, it was not enabled in Chromium, and I needed to, uh, to download like the special Chromium Pepper Flash Player. But uh, now everything is working flawlessly, full screen, not a problem at all. Everything working right now. So that was just a little thing that I ran into. Other than that, no problems at all. I got to say, uh, I'm really surprised how well this is put together and how well this is all working. Um, of course, this is a small distro that hasn't been around for too long and with a small team of developers. And therefore, I gotta say, I'm really surprised by this. Uh, you can tell they put a lot of effort into this release. And so I'd say if you're looking for a rolling release distro that is based on Arch, um, but has an easy install process and offers a easy to use, right out of the box desktop experience with many different desktop environments available, this is something for you. Um, so, so really happy with this release. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of this release. And uh, check out my channel for more distro reviews and perhaps subscribe.